And a good morning to you, Triad Area. Chief Meteorologist Tim Buckley live with you right now. It's about 11 o'clock here as we go through our Friday morning. And obviously, uh, the talk of the town today is, well, where's the snow? Uh, yeah, and of course, that's something we've been mentioning as we went through the last couple of days is that a system was headed our way and a good chance for it to be wintry uh, with whether it be ice or some snow. Um, well, we really saw more rain than anything else. So that begs the question, why was that the case? What didn't work out when it comes to the forecast and the predictions and all of those things? So we're here to answer those questions for you uh, right now through about the next 15 or so minutes. Um, I'll tell you, there was snow with the system. It just ended up being a little bit too far to to the north. We had some problems when it comes to cold air and also when it comes to the timing of the system. So let's get right to it. Here's the current radar. This is across the Carolinas and Virginia and you can see kind of where the system is. Uh, it's pushing away from us. We're still stuck with some nasty drizzle at the moment that we're probably going to see a little while longer. Um, but if you take a look here, notice mostly rain across North Carolina. And when you're looking at something like this, whether it be on your phone or on television, um, the coloration when it comes to this is not always precise. So that is to say, if you're looking at the, the white and the blue and seeing that colored in as snow, and then the greens colored in as rain, that's not always completely accurate as to what we're finding on the ground. It's more or less an estimate uh, driven by the radar. So in this case, we really didn't see snow across the triad, even though it's colored in that way uh, in a couple spots. So that's not really what's been going on. We have had our coldest temperatures, the coldest temperatures the whole storm right now, um, are happening this morning. Part of the problem overnight is that we really just didn't get cold enough quick enough. And the moisture, if the moisture had arrived May, not early, early last night, but more so right around now, we would have a much better chance for snow. So you take a look at what happened. Here's that temperature trend over the last day or so. It was steadily going down, right? But the precipitation got going really just before midnight even. It started a little earlier than expected when we were still in the 40s. We cooled off into the mid 30s by about 3 a.m. and then kind of hovered there for a while. Now we're finally getting down closer to freezing. So that cold air just wasn't enough uh, to make for that. And that was an error. That was an error on our forecast. But, you know, a lot of the models that we show you on TV or the, the guidance that we talk about over the last couple of days, um, many of them had us getting several inches of snow. So it's not that it's not that we were totally off with our instincts thinking that, yeah, this might be a little farther north. We just didn't push that rain snow line far enough north in our forecast. The reality and kind of the, the answer key, so to speak, uh, is that the rain snow line basically ended up being the Virginia North Carolina state line. Uh, that's pretty much where we ended up with. Now, we do have some storm reports to pass along here from today. Um, and these are mostly in our northern counties. Um, but there was a little bit of snow that fell from the sky in some spots. So up here in uh, Lawsonville, about half an inch of snow up that way. Um, Mount Airy did pick up a little bit of snowfall and nearby in the town of Toast. Uh, Toast got about an inch also. Uh, this is Low Gap up in Surrey County. They got about an inch. So there was some snowfall, but uh, you know, if you're in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Burlington, it didn't work out. It just didn't work out. And that's the case sometimes. I tell you what, even up here in Boone, there's really not much to speak of. They had similar problems uh, that we handled when it comes to warm air messing up their system a little bit. So the warmth was a little farther north than expected. The storm was a little too quick to take advantage of the cold air once it got here. And the result is just not much of a wintry setup here in the Carolinas. If you look closely, you can see a little bit of snow in the eaves on this rooftop uh, over there. But again, not that much to write home about. Um, a couple more viewer pictures for you. This is coming in um, from Ruffin. So this is up along the Rockingham County, uh, Virginia border, right up that way. Uh, there was some snowfall that coated the cars up there. Um, nice to see. A very, very pretty sight, I guess, as well. Um, let's take a look here. This is from Mount Airy. Uh, again, kind of a, a little more than a coating, or ba basically just a dusting is what I would call this. The roads look to be fine. This is from Angel. She's up in the Mount Airy community. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about what you would really want to see when it comes from making uh, North Carolina snow. 
So how, how would you get it done in a perfect setup? And again, what went wrong with this one? So let's load this up here. This is gonna be uh, just a brief, simple explainer. But bottom line, uh, if you wanna get a decent snowfall in North Carolina, a couple of things you wanna do. You wanna have some cold air in place. And that cold air really should be here before the storm system starts. So before the system begins, you would want some cold air to be locking in from the north. So a high pressure up here, giving us a pretty steady flow of cold air from New England and pushing it down the coast. At the same time, you would want some moisture to be gathering down here, uh, but again, not moving in until that cold air is locked in. So those are kind of the, the dance that, that you have to do with an event just like this uh, to get things going. Um, so again, that cold air, this time around, we have some of it right now, but it's it's not been locked in very long, and so the cold air was a little bit late to arrive in this case. So that's one part of the equation. The moisture off to the south of us, well, again, in a perfect world, you'd get it to run in and roll over that moisture, or sorry, run over the cold air and get you some snowfall. Uh, but in this case, what ended up happening is that the moisture came in too early and it was already happening before the cold air really arrived. So we weren't really able to take advantage of it like you would do in a true North Carolina snow event. So that's kind of the when and the where and the how and the why. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a no snow kind of Friday for you. So what are we seeing? Um, well, it's kind of some nasty drizzle at the moment. We are in the 30s. Uh, there is still some rain falling out there. And, and this is kind of that wedge setup that we see a lot of times where your temperatures are stuck. It's going to be cold and nasty throughout the day. Clouds, drizzle, it's just not a good one. For us. So we will be pretty, pretty darn cool. Uh, and I would expect through the rest of the, the next several hours, we really don't move our temperature all that much. So staying cloudy, a little drizzly for now, will probably dry out a little bit for the afternoon and certainly into the evening. I wouldn't expect the drizzle to continue, uh, but we are going to be hovering right around freezing going through the next several hours. So a cold rest of your afternoon is pretty likely for us and a cloudy one as well. Um, the overall weather setup is uh, pretty, you know, pretty straightforward for the weekend. Uh, as we go through the weekend time frame, you're going to notice um, that we're actually staying on the dry side for the most part. So this weather system that pushes by us, it'll be offshore by tonight. We'll still keep the clouds around and that'll kind of hover us right around freezing for the overnight low. I'm not confident that will actually dip much colder than freezing. So it'll probably be right around 32 overnight. Watch for a slick spot if you have some wet spots still. Going into Saturday, probably a mostly cloudy kind of a day. The same system is still, um, you know, sending different waves of low pressure to our south. So if you're headed off to the coast this weekend, it would be wet out there, but not so much for us. We'll stay dry. On Sunday, that should be a bit of a sunnier day for us. We'll have a better chance to keep some sunshine around for Sunday afternoon, and that'll make for a little bit of a warmer day. Saturday will be in the mid 40s. Sunday would be in the upper 40s. And then we have to watch things. You know, going into early next week, I do think there's another system that could be coming our way um, that might bring us a little bit of trouble when it comes to scattered rain or scattered snow. So lots of things to watch uh, as we go forward in time. Uh, let me show you the Futurecast one more time in another detailed way. So this would be the Carolinas throughout the weekend. Notice mostly cloudy for tomorrow, rain in South Carolina and at the coast, dry for us on Sunday with some sunshine. So honestly, it's pretty good weather for any holiday activities you have going on, tree lightings, parades and the like. Looking ahead though, this is Monday and I do have some concern or at least some interest, I should say. There are a couple of moving parts here. You've got a moving part from the west. You've got another little piece of energy here. There's a little dance that's going on. We're going to be pretty cold, and there's a little energy that kind of dips into our area that could touch off some scattered rain or even some scattered snow showers. Uh, <laughs> Considering what happened today, I'm not super uh, inclined to go all in on a snow threat a couple of days away from now. But it is something that I think we'll want to keep an eye on and we'll probably want to watch. Um, nothing, nothing to fret over too badly at the moment. But again, could we have a new system coming our way on Monday? 
there's some potential there. Uh, again, very little certainty with this, just more questions than answers at this point when it comes to Monday. But we are going to include a chance of some scattered rain and scattered snow in our forecast. So uh, don't let that spook you too badly when you see it popping up on the app. I do think that's something that uh, we'll want to keep an eye on going into early next week. So take a look at that. That's going to be your Monday. Uh, back in the here and now, you know, uh, it's it stinks when you have a forecast that doesn't work out. I know you're excited about that, but um, we did try and emphasize the last couple of days that the chance was going down with probably only a trace to maybe a half an inch in the triad. And if you miss it by 20 miles, that makes all the difference. And that's just the way that it is. Uh, I do have these rules, these snow rules, that I need to listen to sometimes more than anything. Um, but these are, are snow rules for North Carolina. And uh, we poke fun at things, but it is something good to keep in mind. All of these have some merit. Rule number one is uh, really relevant for this uh, system. Hard for it to snow in North Carolina. It just is. You have to have all those ingredients just right. And this time, it didn't work out exactly right. Number two, the cold air really has to be here first. And we thought that would be the case. It didn't even look like a problem a couple of days ago, but it ended up being a problem. So that cold air really has to be here first. Um, we don't like to show snow maps more than three days away. Um, if you're in a good snow event and you get sleet, that's going to mess all your totals. We like to say not to freak out. Viral posts on social media are not that helpful. <laughs> Not helpful at all, actually. Um, also, computer models that we show you and, and that you might hear us talk about or that you might see on social media, they're always just guidance. They're never gospel. And so they can be wrong. They were certainly wrong this time. And it made for a wrong forecast as well. Uh, I mentioned this just a second ago, 50 miles here or there, it makes a huge difference. Uh, Virginia did really, really well with this storm, uh, and we did not. So again, those are just some fun things to kind of look over and, and peruse um, and, and good reminders as we go through the wintertime season. Uh, I do think that, you know, we'll have more chances for winter weather. Today is December 5th. December 5th is very early in the season, so we have a long way to go, and we actually have more cool air on the way. I think our, our chilly weather is, is not done with us yet, so even looking farther down the line, we still have a good chance to stay cooler than average through the next couple of weeks um, and getting toward Christmas as well. So there's just not a lot when it comes um, to warmth headed our way. So I do think colder weather rather than warmer weather is pretty likely for us going over the next week. It's been a while since we've even hit 50 degrees. Those are all things that we've noticed. So keep in mind, yes, we have a little chance of some more scattered rain or snow coming up on Monday. We'll track that for you as best we can. Otherwise, have a dry weekend, a safe weekend, and uh, I'm going to leave you here with a little loop of some radar graphics as we get going.